In this lesson, lesson nine, I'm going to be talking about commenting your code. This is very important because you or somebody coming later may not understand what exactly the script does. So it's always nice to put some notation in there. And this is done with commenting. Let me get out of the way here and give you some real quick examples. The first one we've seen is uh, very simple. You can start a line with slash slash. And anything that comes after the slash slash in JavaScript is considered a comment. This could be something as simple as, let, let's put some code here, Chuck Tomasi, I declare a variable, and define your name here. You could put an instruction for somebody. You could even put additional characters. As long as there's nothing after the slash slash, it's, everything after that is ignored on that line. So you can put instructions for the next person. Another way to do that is with a slash star, and everything will be a comment until you get a star slash. So you could put this is another comment, star slash, and then go back to writing more code, gs.info, name equals plus name. And if I run that, I'm just going to copy that because I may want that later. I get, of course, name defined, name printed, but I've got some documentation, some notation, annotations around that to make it more helpful. Now, there is another one. I said star slash and anything that goes, let's see if I can spell this, anything, try that again, anything between the star slash, star slash, I'm not going to type the actual characters because that might interfere with the commenting, and slash star is considered a comment. And you may want multi-line comments because it would help define a block of things. We'll get more into that when we talk about functions and parameters, and that's where I find it very, very helpful is, is when you start doing that kind of thing. But be careful because if you inadvertently have code in there, it's very easy to do something like this and not see it because it will look like code. And in fact, that may be even further down with more comments and nothing happens because my GS info statement is now part of the comment. You'll see this a lot better if it's in this type of editor or in the script editor. I'll get to that in just a second because it does some color coding to say, hey, look, everything in green is a comment. So what you think is this var declaration isn't going to happen. It just isn't there. And if you look at something like a business rule or a client script, let me bring this out and show you that real quick. Let's do this in a UI action just for fun. I'll go to system definition UI actions. I just need a script editor. And the UI action has a nice one, very similar to what you see almost everywhere else. And down here in the script editor, I'm not going to even save this record, but if I save this and put, here, let's just take that chunk of code we had before, copy all of that, paste it in there. You can see comments are green. So this is not going to work. You also have variables that are defined. And if it knows, this is kind of subtle, but if I move this line up one and uncomment that var line, okay, you can now see name is defined. And a lot of times you'll see this is a dark blue. It's a, it's a different color blue than this one to say it's been defined, you're using it, everything's cool. However, if it's commented out, the script editor may in fact tell you, or at runtime will say, this is not defined. I don't know what you're talking about here. So watch out for that. It will pick up syntax errors, as we mentioned before, something like that. You see all these symbols over here, hover over them, and it'll say, no, 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 it's not going to work. Just work on it till the symbols go away, even if you're missing a semicolon. As I noted earlier on, the semicolon is optional in this case, but the script editor really believes you should have it there. The other thing in the script editor is you can select text and this little speech bubble here will toggle the comments. It will comment those out for you. And if you selected lines that are commented out, it will uncomment them. So you can very quickly say, 
let's take this chunk of code and just disregard it for now. Comment it out. I know it's working or I don't think it's working or whatever your logic is for temporarily taking that out. You can use the script editor to do that as well. Another thing I wanted to mention was um, style guides. I, I, I touched on this very briefly before when I was talking about um, spaces and variable names. Well, indentation is another one, and we'll get to that a little bit more when we get into if statements and looping. But uh, if your organization already has a style guide, please use that and follow it. They'll talk about everything from curly braces to uh, spacing. Maybe, maybe your style guide doesn't do this kind of thing. That's fine. I do because I believe it's a little more readable. The script editor also has the ability to help you format the code with this next icon over here. And that brings everything into a line. Notice that it did not put this in. Some people like to decorate these a little bit more, something like that. Maybe even make it stand out because sometimes it's just a little hard to see your comments when they're in code. This is still completely valid. It starts with a slash star and it ends with a star slash. So this is all still a valid comment. It just makes it pop a little better or easier to read. Some people will do something like this. Completely up to you. If you don't have a style guide, you are free to invent one as you see fit. Oh, missed on that one. And make comments that, that stand out, easy to read, uh, indentation, curly braces. Check for that style guide and see if you've already got one and learn about it as you're going through JavaScript. If not, follow some of the examples I've got here where there's spacing, where there's not. Uh, the, 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 technically, the spacing does not make any difference to the JavaScript interpreter. It, it just it removes them right away. In fact, your whole script is condensed down to one line of no comment code. That's, that's pretty sad, but that's what happens. So that's a little bit about commenting, style guides, and uh, the script editor for using indentation. I'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks.